everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of Terraria Master Mode from the Drunk World Seed. And welcome to the first full episode of Master Mode Hard Mode. I have never ever gotten this far in Master Mode before, so I am well and truly venturing into the unknown from hence here forth, ladies and gents. So, if that excites you, do be sure, of course, to continue supporting the series with a like. I'd very much appreciate it, my friends. So, in the last episode, at the very end, we opened up 100 fishing crates and it has given us a significant star in terms of hard mode ores, bars and various other materials to get ourselves a bunch of hard mode weapons and gear. But to start off today's episode, we're going to do some combining of accessories. So check it out, ladies and gents. We finally have the lightning boots. That's a decent reforge as well. Armored is kind of all right. With the frog leg, we can upgrade that to frog webbing. We actually have the tiger climbing gear as well. Ooh, that's interesting. And it's still a material even still. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do that. There we are. I mean, if we need to get ourselves more tiger climbing gear for the eventual master ninja gear, I see no reason why we can't just head over into a new world to get ourselves shoe spikes and the climbing claws again. So going ahead and checking out what this is a material for, the frog gear. We have a flipper. We can actually go ahead and make that right about now. Holy crappers. <laughs> All right, we've got a hell of a start in terms of our accessories here. There we are. Yeah. All right. So what does it actually do? Grants the ability to swim, allows ability to climb on walls, increases jump speed, and allows auto jump, increases fall resistance as well. Seems like a very, very good movement related accessory, doesn't it, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> so let's go ahead and see if we can't get ourselves a better reforge. Uh, yeah, guarding's okay. I, oh yeah, that's better. <laughs> Seven, increased defense from our movement related accessories alone. Yeah. All right. You know what as well, ladies and gentlemen? If we still have enough money in our piggy bank here, which I believe we do, when it becomes nighttime, we should be able to head over to the jungle and actually buy ourselves our first set of wings. I mean, yeah, we had the freaking fledgling wings before, and they did as well for a little bit, but let's be honest, there's far better things to be going for now, isn't there? So let's use our pillar to get over here. And in 10 seconds time, we'll be able to buy ourselves some cool stuff. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out. We can buy them. Oh, and it's reduced price because this guy's happy as well. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> we got wings, guys. Oh, my God. Usually, we'd have to grind for wings, but here we are. Ah. Oh, my God. That's a really good reforge as well. Okay. Not bad. I think that means we can safely discard of the horseshoe balloon. All right. So, quickly, I need a reminder as to how to make the terrace spark boots. But, of course, we need to begin with the ice skates to make frost spark boots. We haven't actually explored the snow biome in this world yet. 18 episodes and we haven't even explored it yet. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? I just realized as well, these wings are literally the perfect color for my skin right now. The creeper outfit. <laughs> oh, dude, that's so freaking cool, dude. Oh, God. What I don't love, though, is this guy. Ah, because he did like 200 damage to me. That's freaking insane. Hello. How's it hanging? I don't know how much health this guy has. Uh, but what about... Oh, I was just going to try and, uh, I was going to try and anchor him. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a lot of health he has. What the hell? 12,000? Wow. That is literally a freaking boss right there. The wyvern in master mode is a boss. Oh, I am determined to kill this freaking butthole. I mean, there's not really any reason to actually defeat him because, you know, we already have wings at this point, but, you know, still. It'd be kind of cool to maybe upgrade our wings later down the line. Frost wings, flame wings, all that kind of beautiful stuff. How about it, huh? Did you guys think that the water bolt would still come in useful in hard mode, master mode? Yeah, I bet you didn't, but there we are. We pretty much just defeated him with it. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Oh, dudes, we need to set up a hard mode stuff chest, huh? Because, yeah, 
We don't have one. Here we are inside of the pre-hard mode relic tower. Uh, why not? <laughs> So there they are, the souls of flight. We get 20 of those bad boys and some other material. We can make different wings if we so please. Alrighty, guys. So as you can see in my inventory currently, what we do have is every single ore and bar that we got in the previous episode. And, well, we've got a fairly decent start, haven't we? Oracalcum, cobalt, palladium. We didn't really get too many of the super high-end hard mode ores, though, like titanium and adamantite. Yeah, we got a little bit of adamantite in to make ourselves an adamantite forge as far as i know but uh yeah aside from that there's not really too much going on is there so for the simple reason that we have less oracalcum than mithril i'm actually going to make an oracalcum anvil so there we are we've got that bad boy we're gonna go ahead and place that down right there and there it is the adamantite forge a uh, beautiful we can make ourselves but one adamantite bar <laughs> okay i mean it's better than nothing isn't it so check it out We've got ourselves a bunch of stuff we can make. Now, the palladium armor is what I was on about I was trying to make. But what we need to try and do is determine just how many bars we need in order to do that. So, 12, 36, 54 bars. We are six bars below being able to make ourselves palladium armor. Damn it. Okay. I really do want the palladium armor, though. I won't lie to you guys. So what I think might be in our best interest right about now is if we were to actually do a little bit more fishing because I am still determined not to break any altars, okay? I really don't want to do it because as you guys can remember in the previous series, Python's Realm, as a result of doing that, I had massive troubles in terms of freaking cleansing the world and I don't want to have that trouble again. So yeah, we're not going to do that. So, check it out, guys. For now, though, we can make ourselves a mithril pickaxe. Very nice. We can make ourselves other mithril-related stuff as well. A sword, a war axe, a chainsaw. There's plenty of stuff here, but to be honest with you, I'm pretty okay with just the pickaxe. And as much as it is a superior pickaxe, I would very much like to have something that has more speed. Oh, nasty. Yeah, I think that'll do quite nicely. I don't much mind having less knockback. At the end of the day, with tools, anything with plus speed is definitely a big old bonus. So, yeah, I'm pretty okay with that. Well, this is slightly peculiar. Look at the axe power for the Molten Ham Axe. 150%. Now, logic would say the, you know, these hard mode or variants of axes would maybe have a higher amount of axe power. But in fact... It's a significant downgrade. Look at that. That is minus 65% axe power compared to the Molten Ham Axe. Why would you ever make these? That is so stupid. They're literally useless. I mean, I guess I could be missing something out in terms of the hard mode or axes, but I don't think I am. Unless I am, in which case, please do let me know. But if not, then yeah, they are not really fit for any task compared to the Molten Ham Axe. Oh, interesting. Some of you guys were saying this in the comments area, but I never actually put it to the test. This thing, the Knight's Edge, is actually full auto, and you don't even need to use the Feral Claws. I didn't know that they made it full auto. That's pretty freaking cool, actually. I really like that. And the final thing to mention in terms of our gear here, ladies and gentlemen, is the anchor here. 87 damage, which is an absolutely insane amount of damage. I'm sure you guys would agree. Uh, but yeah, I basically picked this one out of all of the many, many anchors that we managed to get out of fishing, right? So yeah, there we are. Anyways, talking of fishing, ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time. Look at do. We have a ridiculous amount of of high-end bait. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy about this. We need to do a whole bunch of crate fishing. Alrighty, we are merely looking for the quest fish for today. We'll hand it in and then we'll get our crate fishing underway. Oh, two crates out of two bits of fishing. That's kind of cool. Okay, mate, what the hell? I don't even have a crate potion on. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's uh. We've had a pretty pog start so far. Hell yeah, dude. There it is. Beautiful. We'll hand that bad boy in, see what kind of things we get, and then we'll be on our merry way. Cool. A goldfish trophy. Hey, that's kind of cool, isn't it? All right, can we like... Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, I can fit it up there. 
<laughs> hey, that's kind of cool, man. All right, let's open these bad boys up and let's see what we have here. We actually just got a boomstick. That's kind of cool. And some cobalt ore. Okay. So, yeah, this time I'm not going to save up the crates. I'm just going to sort of open them as I go along because we don't really need to hold them anymore, really. Alrighty, guys. So, in terms of the fishing, I did, of course, have a lot of you guys saying that we should try to go for that one fish uh, mage weapon. I can't remember what the devil it's called, though, but you can catch it in the hallowed biome if you have a lake there and it's a pretty dang good start for your mage loadout in hard mode so yeah the only thing is as you guys can see this is the hallowed biome way over here and yeah it's pretty much overtaken the entirety of the desert freaking fortress but more to the point there's no water here so yeah we need only get ourselves a bucket and we can do the whole infinite water trick with it again. Wow, this music is friggin' amazing, dude. Seriously. I thought that the rain music from Otherworld was my favorite, but I, I don't know, man. My mind, I think, is changing. The Halo. I don't know whether this is just the normal Halo music or whether it's like desert hallowed music or whatever, but... This is pretty freaking sweet. Anyway, as I'm sure you guys have figured out by now, I am custom creating a hallowed lake. So I tell you what, let's just go ahead and get it all done. And we can get on with our little uh, fishing session. Oh, looks like the arms dealer's coming down here with me. It's watering time. All right. Well, I won't lie. This is probably going to take a fairly hefty amount of time. But you know what? Probably the, one of the most satisfying things I could do right about now is time lapse this. So that's exactly what I'm going to go and do. Oh, nice! Mechanical worm! Hell yeah, dude. Well, that certainly saves me having to get one, doesn't it? But anyways, one time lapse later, and we have this thing uh, basically full up. I mean, it's not entirely to the top. Well, who says it needs to go entirely to the top, eh? I don't think it does. I think we're perfectly fine with having it just be this height right here. Now! Let's go ahead and quickly make ourselves a bit of a platform above this thing. Then we need to make like a little bit of a safety fishing box. And then away we go. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, my safety fishing box. And well, hopefully this should be enough to keep everybody at bay. So while I'm fishing, it turns out my imp dude is going to attempt to take out this unicorn, which has 1200 health. What the hell, man? <laughs> Nice! Zephyr fish! Just got ourselves another pet, ladies and gentlemen. And there's our first crate. Very, very cool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We need to do a little bit of that, don't we? There we go. Ain't having no lines break now. So it turns out there's actually going to be a fair amount of stuff in the old loot pool for this. We're going to get, apparently, oasis-related stuff, like flounders and rockfish. We're also going to get ourselves the hallowed-related fish, be it the princess fish, the prismite eventually, of course, or whatever else may wind up being inside this biome. I don't know. Hey, first prismite fish has been captured. Beautiful. To be able to make ourselves life force potions at this point and get ourselves up to 480 health would sure be a mighty fine thing indeed against the hard mode bosses. And obviously, once we have golden hearts, it will go from 500 health to 600 health, won't it? Because it's 20% increase. So just to recap, what we're trying to capture here is prismite crates and hopefully uh, that one mage weapon i still can't remember what the dang name of it is oh do you know what it actually literally just came to me it's the crystal serpent isn't it that's what it's called <laughs> so yeah guys looks like our safety box is definitely doing the job so i tell you what let's just go ahead and see what we get i'll bring you guys back if we capture something cool oh it took about 17 years but my dudes took out that unicorn <laughs> Oh, the nurse was taken out the game. No. Oh, no, no. That's actually really not good. Please don't kill my dudes. Because, yeah, basically now I can't teleport away. And, oh, for God's sake. The arms dealer. 
What you doing, man? Must I do everything? Huh? I'm gonna have to block this off, aren't I? Ugh. If and when they respawn in, I'll reassign them to these locations, but we're gonna have them trapped within the fortress. That is right. They're gonna spend their entire days in this fortress. I'm sorry. But it has to be the case. So after a couple of crate potions, we have 14 crates. We are looking for palladium more than anything. We've actually got four bars right here. That is very, very cool. But we need two more. Six was the goal to bring us up to 54 to be able to make ourselves the full set of armor. So opening all that up. Uh, well, I didn't really see what went on there. But let's see what's in the void bag real quick. The arms dealer hath returned. And he's dead already. But guys, check it out. We actually have enough palladium now. Yeah, we can make ourselves the palladium mage set of armor and be on our merry way. Our first ever set of hard mode armor. That's not going to be the end of the fishing. Not by any stretch. Because I still want to get that crystal serpent. I know it's an extremely rare drop, but I'm determined. I mean, come on. We've got 40 high-end bait at this point. We can't not get it. Alrighty, guys. So while we're here back at base, I guess the time has come, hasn't it? We're going to make ourselves the beautiful palladium armor. It's about friggin' time, right? So there it is. Palladium bars bringing us up to 58. And ladies and gentlemen, here we are. So which one does the magic damage? Oh, we actually picked the right one straight off the rip. 9% increased magic damage and crit chance increases mana by 60. That's a significant increase. It's only three defense though. That's a little bit pitiful if you ask me, but here we are. Got 10 defense with the breastplate, 3% increased damage, 2% increased crit chance. And finally, of course, the leggings, 2% increased damage, 1% increased crit chance. So we are going from 33 defense up to 38, greatly increases life regen after striking an enemy. Yeah, baby. Oh, hell yeah. Golden carp. <laughs> That's kind of cool. The reason we're down here is because I'm doing a fishing quest right now. Ah, another crate. Boom. Don't mind if I do. Hey. Got him. The hunger fish. Gotta be related to the wall of flesh, right? The hungry Makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, hey, okay. Sonar potions. The first sonar potions we've obtained. That's pretty freaking cool. Hey, the arms dealer is back in action. And that should mean that the desert pylon is back in action. Beautiful. Back to it, ladies and gents. This time we have sonar potions. And that means I can capture exactly what I want. Blimey O'Reilly, we're up to 20 crates in total captured so far. Still no sign of the crystal serpent. Just how rare is it? The party girl has arrived. Ah, hell yeah, dude. I wonder where she's living, though, because, yeah, I don't know where there's spare space. Oh, do you know what? I might be in the new house at the beach. Oh, our first resident over there, potentially. In fact, you know what? Talking of NPCs, aside from going for the Crystal Serpent, I think it would also be a good idea to see if we can get the tax collector. I mean, at the end of the day, it's literally free money. You need only head down to the underworld with a little bit of purification powder. You find yourself a tortured soul, and away you go. You purify him, and there you go. A tax collector. Free money. Alrighty, progress update. We are now up to a whopping 53 crates, and still no sign of the Crystal Serpent. The good news is, though, we are getting ourselves a fairly significant supply of Prismite here. This might just last us the entire rest of the freaking series, man. That'd be pretty cool, right? <laughs> <sighs> Maybe one day, eh, guys? We're actually starting to run a little bit low on our fishing-related potions here. So, yes. I don't know, man. We're pretty much just going to keep going until I've run out of potions and or bait. Whatever comes first. Ha! Huh! And while I'm fishing, there's apparently a party going on. Well, oh! Yes! And I can join that party! Oh, hell yeah! Ha, 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 ha! We done got it, ladies and gentlemen. Well, hell to the freaking yeah, dude. That is huge. Once our current crate potion runs out, just for the sake of saying sod it, we're actually going to go to a different biome and do even more fishing. That is right. It's another uh, fishing episode. 
rather unintentionally, I must admit, but hey-ho. We've got ourselves some good gear out of it. I mean, come on. I think the other biome I may want to do some fishing in is actually the crimson biome, because of course we can get the, what's it, the hemo piranhas, and that makes rage potions, which gives you increased uh, crit chance, I do believe, right? So, could be a good idea to go for that with our very final fishing potions here. And the other reason is because there's actually a fishing related weapon in the crimson biome called the blade tongue i would love to see if i would have a small chance of getting that and seeing what it does oh god a darut sandstorm has begun well in the last 25 seconds here i sure hope that no freaking dudes spawn in with the tornadoes so check it out guys good news we do actually have a crimson potential fishing area here because the crimson overtook part of this jungle and forest biome over here it's actually pretty near our freaking central spawn as well. All right, time for our final load of fishing. Let's friggin' do it. Emo piranhas, yeah. My God, once we get ourselves a greenhouse set up with all of the potion ingredients all growing nicely, we're basically gonna have a damn near endless supply of friggin' potions, dude. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes! I am very, very glad that we're doing it early hard mode because trying to do stuff late hard mode slash end game is kind of a pain in the butt, isn't it? So honestly, the earlier you get all of this prep work done, the easier things are going to be later down the line. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, this is all worth it. I know it might be a little bit boring to watch, but believe me, it's worth it. It's like one of those necessary evils, isn't it? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Nice! Wow, okay! What an episode! That's fantastic! Spit an iCore stream on contact. Very cool. Ah, oh, dude, I'm gonna, I'm so excited to give this thing a go, man. Look! That's a hefty upgrade in terms of damage as well. If we can get that up to legendary, I can't imagine the damage it's going to do. Especially considering the I-Core effect. You know what? I was going to go until this final fishing potion ran out. But uh, do you know what? I think we're actually pretty good. We have a grand total. Get this. Of 75 crates. I wasn't intending on getting crates today. I wanted these weapons. We got them. But the crates were a side effect. So, uh, yeah. We have done a hell of a job in today's episode. I'm very, very happy. So, party time's over. Yep, okay, fair enough. We've got a lot of things going on. And turns out both the Crimson Tiger Fish and Hemo Piranhas are used in potions. I do believe our limiting factor right now is actually Day Bloom. So, yeah, we're going to need to get that whole greenhouse idea done uh, fairly shortly, I would say. So, I think for the simple fact that we need a bunch of money, we're going to start off by opening the crates and then we'll reforge both of these weapons here to see if we can't get ourselves a good forge. So let's uh, do, 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 do this thing. Oh, wow. Enchanted Sundial. That is pretty dang cool. Very nice. All right. Let's continue opening these up. Uh, to be honest, I don't really know what's going on. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna open these things and keep on going. Uh, wow. Titanium bars. That's kind of cool. I am very, very happy about that enchanted sundial because if it comes to us wanting to skip a blood moon or an eclipse eventually, then we can. That's fantastic. And there's all the rest of the loot. Holy mackerel. That's a lot of stuff, man. Got a second enchanted sundial as well. That is very, very nice. And even some souls of light from what I imagine was the divine crate, right? The hallowed crate. Cool. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to reforge these things. Uh, okay. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> All right. Uh, that leaves this one. If we can get mythical, mystic, celestial, mad... Oh, need I say more? I, I literally don't need to say anything else, do I? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow, you know what? That's a pretty godly set of uh, fishing-related weaponry right there. I think our Knight's Edge is about to get replaced. And I guess for now, the Spinal Tap is going to be semi-retired. If we do manage to go back to a summoner loadout, then there it is. We can just go ahead and use it again. But the Crystal Serpent, I mean, come on. Oh my gosh. 
I can't believe that we actually managed to get mythical on it as well. A, a pretty early stage. Real quick though, let's go ahead and check on our ore supply, of which we have lots. Holy crap. Whoa. We can make some titanium stuff here if we wanted to. I think really the only thing I might want to make is actually the repeater. I do like a titanium repeater. We've actually got bang on enough for it as well. Uh, so yeah, we'll take it. If we switch to a ranger loadout, we've got ourselves a good old ranger weapon, which is beautiful. What do you guys think? Huh? We're about to push our luck, see if we can't get ourselves a little bit of an unreal titanium repeater. Huh? That'll be pretty cool. Oh, godly's nice. But it's not unreal. Come on. Oh, God. I don't want minor speed. That sucks, bro. Come on, do it. Okay. Oh, what a waste. I got godly before and I freaking passed it up. What an absolute idiot. Oh, what is wrong with me, huh? What is wrong with me? Oh, well, I'll take it. Look at our new repertoire of weapons, though, guys. <laughs> Beautiful. On that fantastic note, it is going to be time to end off today's episode. We are very, very prepared for hard mode now. Palladium gear, a bunch of accessories, a bunch of new weaponry as well. It has been a productive episode indeed. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed today's episode and you're excited to see more, do be sure, of course, to drop a like. I'd very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But don't worry, my friends. I think that's the last of the fishing for at least a little while in this series. We got it all done in one big old cluster of episodes and we are very much prepared for a whole bunch of stuff as a result. It was worth it, guys. It is always worth it. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.